Okay guys, good morning. I have this NQ on here, micro and a mini. I think I take them off here because they're making a move back up off the low here. I'll take this quick win here on NQ for $600, 620. I'll take the micro off for 52. I have This is Bitcoin on yesterday news. Amazon's published that they did not uh, say they will be exploring Bitcoin and Bitcoin just dropped 3,000 points. All right, so I shorted it, it'd been up $500 up and down. So what I'm gonna do here is actually take off like four of them and leave one to run because we've been trading you know 37k back to 37.5 etc so it was trading back and forth so so i actually gonna take it off here four of them all right if i could get phil one got filled. The only problem with Bitcoin is hard to get out, you know. So, maybe I should take off one at a time and I would be able to get out. Let me see. Yeah, one at a time I get out, I keep one on. I think, um, you know, the market itself, um, if you look at NQOYM, there's tons of supply and demand zone up and down. And this NQ, I was able to put this on and leave it on with us. And then I took off my stop and I leave it to run because there were tons of supply zones. Every time it get up, it got rejected. I kind of miss this here. I give up like, you know, like 60 ticks here, 80 ticks off the low. I should have taken it off earlier, but that's fine. Still make, still make $1,000 on this trade somewhere. So over $1,000. So nice day to start your day. All right. And at night is easier to trade if you could afford to be up because you get some moves and it will work exactly. Watch this guy here. I had no problem leaving this on to run. You could not get past here. All right, if you go back and look, there's tons of zones all the way back. Tons of supply zones, All right? The Bitcoin was a nice trade because it's so after four o'clock. Well, the Tesla earnings came out before Tesla earnings came out. 
kids before Tesla earnings came out, financial news said it. Uh, published an article saying that uh, Bitcoin would be taken uh, exploring Amazon will be exploring Bitcoin and then <laughs> half hour after Amazon denies denied the, the news that was published and Bitcoin dropped close to 3,000 points in two seconds once it dropped and it rally up back, I shorted it, put on five contracts. Every thousand points, you make a hundred dollars. I got in late, you know, from the drop. So I put on five of them. Been trading up and down. Four to five hundred dollars up and down. So that's why I keep it on. It, it, it wouldn't break up below 37 and it won't go above 38. Trade in that range after the news came out. Trade within a $2,000 range, sometimes a $1,000 range. So I keep this one on. You know. So I could drop a recover a thousand points and then. This would go negative. See why? And if you come right back up to the VWAP, you have some levels up here. If you get back up to these levels here, these would be a nice shirt on a, on a, on a setup, right? It's got into this oversold condition here, you see that? And then rally out to this demand zone. So this is perfect, right? See that? Got right here, oversold, consolidate, and then break out. And back to the VWAP. These two zones, these zones were tested, so, but they're still valid though. So it could come right back up here and fail. Yeah, that's it. Quick trade. Well, it wasn't quick, it was a swing trade, so. But it worked nice. Turn around Tuesday, guys. All right. <clears throat> now, when the Asian market opened up, when Pacific Asia opened up, the market um, kind of rally. I show you what I mean. The uh, the Nikkei, the Nikkei was up nicely when the mark went out. When the open Australia and South Korea, see the Nikkei open up. South Korea, Australia, see, they open up positive, right? between 7 and 8 o'clock and they stay positive. These guys sell off at 9.30 when they open up. China, Hang Seng, that's Hong Kong and you got India. All right, looks like they're going to close in the green and the red, see? Then they got a European market open up at 3 o'clock and they sell right off. I pressure onto our indices. So that's it, guys. Look for our next trade.